Hello friends, I'm Christopher. Today I'm going to be doing some drastic pruning on our very long raspberry hedge. Woohoo! Well, I have another, ah, there's my face. I have another video on raspberry pruning that's been very popular. Feel free to check that out. That's for routine maintenance, especially if you have a small area of raspberries, easy to maintain. I am going to do a more drastic measure. What I'm doing today is I'm going to cut everything down to ground level for a couple reasons. One, my, well, my hedge is just too dense. And when it gets too dense, um, I have found in the last year in particular, that there hasn't been enough airflow, I haven't had as many buds, and so my production has gone down even though I have more green material stuck in together. That's one issue. The other issue is this horrible crawling um, grapevine, right? Creeping grapevine. It's uh, pretty invasive um, and it has found its way into the garden. And in fact, last year, this bed, it completely smothered the whole thing. So I'm going to just cut everything down to the ground and get rid of it. What that's going to do is, uh, since these are ever-bearing raspberries, usually I get a late spring crop and an early fall crop. There will be no spring crop, but we will get a bumper fall crop. And then by next year, everything will be back to normal and I can do my routine pruning as needed. So, um, today I am become death, destroyer of worlds for these raspberries. So let's get started. This is also a really good time if you've got a sagging trellis to uh, put it upright, you know, do any kind of maintenance that you need to do there, rake it out, and add fertilizer. All right, well, I am done with this particular project now. Um, all I have to do off camera is reinforce some of these uh, wires on my trellis system and lay down some fertilizer. I'm just gonna do a general hedge fertilizer, um, something to add some, you know, a basic set of nutrients into the ground. Uh, you could use compost too, if you've got that available, all good. Either way, this is going to fill in real nicely. Be sure to follow along or in the future, if you're watching this year is out, uh, check back, there'll be a part two sometime around the end of September, October. And uh, you'll see how this has grown throughout the year. We're going to get a, you know, harvesting raspberries by the gallons as we usually do. So this works very well for me. The whole process, I've got about 60 feet, uh, four, or five in, four or five feet wide, 60 feet long. Um, the whole process of removing it all and burning it took about two hours. 
it's very convenient because you know I can I can burn that kind of brush I've got a great big in-ground pit surrounded by 10 feet of gravel so it works it's a lot of ash and um, otherwise this, you know might be kind of a pain if you're getting rid of it and you don't have a place to dispose of it but I'm just rambling so have you gotten rid have you done this uh, scorched earth kind of get rid of everything technique before has it worked for you what do you usually do this will work Feel free to leave a comment below, have a discussion, and until next time, happy gardening. Bye-bye.